Hey everyone, I just wanted to make a quick video showing how to read uh, remote codes from a physical remote into the Android app. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and have our hub plugged in and uh, powered on. So uh, right now I've got it plugged into a mobile power bank. Uh, of course you could have it plugged into your laptop or maybe your TV or your cable box. Uh, you could plug it into the wall um, or you could even plug it into your phone. Um, so I've got it plugged into this mobile power bank and it's already connected to my Wi-Fi network. If you're unfamiliar with how to connect it to your network, um, please see my other videos um, as well as with setting up the Android app. It's very easy, but um, it's just in a different video. So I've got the hub. It's on my network. I've got my remote. There's actually no setup process whatsoever. So uh, all that lead up just so I can point the remote at the hub and I'm just going to push the button here. It's about a half inch away and it's pointing towards the bottom um, and I'm just going to push the button. So I pushed the volume down button on my Vizio remote here and so we're going to go into the app and I've already got a remote uh, set up and, and put in here but we're going to add a new button. We're going to add volume down. So let's go ahead and hit the menu. We're going to hit edit remote. From here we're going to hit edit buttons, IR code, and we're taken to a screen of the same buttons but with a red action bar. Um, and this basically means we're in edit mode and we can click any of these buttons or select any of these buttons to update the code that is sent when they're pressed. So let's go ahead and just tap a random blank button and we have we have two options. Uh, we can search for a code or we can add a custom. Searching will uh, means you can search from the database whereas since we're uh, actually reading a code from a remote it's going to be considered custom so let's go ahead and select Add Custom. And I went ahead and selected Add Custom. And you can see it pre-populated with a few uh, numbers. Those are actually the numbers that I just read in a minute ago. But it's not the entire code. I can see uh, just by looking at it that it only caught half the code. This may happen sometimes. So you just got to actually point the remote back at the hub and just relearn it again. So I just repressed the button. And I'm just going to hit Cancel here. And then I'm just going to retab the button. And I'm going to hit Add Custom. And here you can see, this time, the code uh, fully filled out. So you can easily see the difference. So if it doesn't ever read uh, uh, by any chance for some reason, uh, just go ahead and do it again, and it should read. Uh, so we'll go ahead and select OK, and it's going to ask us if we want to give this button a new text. So we're just going to say Mall minus for volume down. We'll hit Update. You'll see now we've got a new button. We're still in edit mode, so let's go ahead and hit the checkbox in the top right. And that takes us out of edit mode. And we've got our volume minus button here. And we've got our hub. And we've got our TV. So let's just go ahead and tap it. Let's see if we can get it all in the same. Let me just go ahead and tap the volume minus button. And you can see the volume's already down all the way. But uh, what I can do is I'll take the actual remote here and I will turn it up and then I'll turn it down from the app. And I'm just going to hit the button and you'll see the volume turning down. And all I'm doing is tapping our newly mapped uh, volume down button. So that's how you read infrared codes into the remote.